All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you what data types are. So you probably already noticed that Tableau groups things very, very neatly, right? Um, with the measures, these are all numbered values, okay? These ones even are also numbered values. These are longitude, latitude for certain things. Don't have to get into that, but they're numbers, okay? If there weren't numbers, they would be put into this section right here. Now, the reason the different data types are so important is because you can't add words together in, you know, mathematically. Like, you can't add my first name and last name mathematically. It doesn't work that way. Same way as if you don't tell Tableau that uh, a certain column is made of numbers, then it can't do the mathematical operations. So you have to make sure that the correct data types are allocated. It's the same way as like if you've ever used like a length function in Excel where you're trying to count how many characters are in a word or you want to use left or right or you want to use format clean. Like anything where you're trying to use words, right? You have to tell uh, Tableau that it's word. It's a word, right? Now, for the most part, I'd say personally in my professional experience, 90 Eight percent of the time, Tableau gets the data types right. There are a few occasions where it doesn't, and that's because I'm doing something very specialized, right? And I need it different for certain behaviors, okay? So let me show you how to adjust the different data types. It's very simple. There's kind of two main places you can do it. If you go back to your data source, and let's say I loaded up this data, and it actually was a string. A string just means words, right? Let's say this was a string. Um, Tableau thinks number four is a word. So if I try and do a word times one, it's not going to do anything, right? So I have to make sure this is a number. So all I do is click on this one right here, and I can change it. I can either have a, a decimal number, I can have a whole number like integers, I can have date and time, I can have date, string, and Boolean is basically like yes or no, true or false, zero, one, that kind of thing. Default we won't get into. And then the other one is a geographical role, right? So you could have postcodes, you can have states, you can have countries, regions, you can have districts from memory somewhere in here. Um, that I won't get into. So you got to make sure that your data types are correct so that it performs in the way that you want it. So all these wouldn't have worked if the format was wrong. So let me show you for an example, right? Let's do a new sheet. And I'm going to grab sales and put it in here. Now straight away, it sums up all the values, right? As you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this and change data type to string, right? And you notice it's now an ABC, okay? And if I now try and do a sum, it's not going to do it. Instead, it's counting because you can count words. So that's become its new default, but I can't actually add them anymore because it doesn't think it's a number. So that's why it's very important to make sure this is a number. All right, so I just go number whole. Okay, and it's the same thing as here, right? In certain cases, you have certain for, uh, formulas that only apply to dates, right? So in terms of this one, if this was set to something else, like a country, then it just won't work. So by setting it to the correct thing, you get the behavior you want. Now on the flip side, if you're looking for a certain behavior and you're like, how come it's not working? Check the data type. It could be not set to the correct thing. Okay, so just be sure it is. Um, so that's it for this video, and I'll see you next time.